let x be the set containing exactly five elements and y is the set containing seven elements if alpha is the number of one one functions from set x to y and beta is the number of on two functions from set y to x then we have to find the value of beta minus alpha divided by phi factorial so first let us find the number of one one function from x to y so for one one function basically we have to select any five out of seven elements from set y and then we have to connect those five elements with five elements of set x so basically alpha which is the number of one one function this will be 7 c5 7 c5 is number of ways of selecting any five elements from the seven elements of set y and the number of ways of connecting those five elements with the five elements of set x this will be nothing but phi factorial now we need beta minus alpha by phi factorial so we'll write alpha and beta in terms of phi factorial only now 7 c5 this is 21 so alpha will be 21 into phi factorial now next we are going to find the number of onto functions remember onto functions are defined from set y to x the number of onto functions from y to x this will be nothing but number of ways of distributing seven distinct object among five persons such that each gets at least one so this is a problem of division and distribution of distinct objects first we are going to divide seven elements of set y into five groups such that in each group we have at least one element so this can be done in two different ways one possibility is that you can divide 7 as 1, 1, 1 and 3 and another possibility is 1, 1, 1 and then 2 and 2. So basically beta is the number of onto functions. So in first case we will get 7 factorial and this divided by 3 factorial into 4 factorial because we have 4 groups of equal strength and this multiplied by 5 factorial. This first term is for division and 5 factorial is for distribution. And in second case, we'll get 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial, then another 2 factorial. We have 3 groups of equal strength, so 3 factorial, and then 2 group of equal strength, so another 2 factorial. These are the number of ways in which you can do the division part. And then for distribution, we'll write another 5 factorial. So after calculation, you will get 140 into 5 factorial. So these are the number of onto functions. Now number of 1 1 function is 21 into 5 factorial. So after substituting those numbers here you will get the correct answer as 119.